when we were talking about the married put on Intel, uh, instead of going to the search, I'm just going to go to our custom spread tool. Intel moved a little bit, but we were talking about buying 100 shares of stock at Intel in our previous discussion at 48.09. And I bought the January 50 in my case at 460 something, I think it was. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, about that 460 is right where we are. Okay. So run that through. Here's our married put. Not showing me the graph, but we've got a cost basis of 52.69 total into the position. My risk is 269. James' comment was, can I just sell weekly calls against this married put to pay for the position? It is one of the 12 income methods. The first income method that's available that's discussed in the blueprint is selling a call to create sort of a calendar caller. I do that after the stock moves up though, not right away. Why? Because doing a weekly series on something like Intel it's the only premium that makes sense. Really, it's the 4850. I mean, the 50 is only at three cents. That's that's not worth it. Eight cents even for a seven-day trade. That's probably not worth it. Maybe the 49. The 4850 has got 34 cents. Right? It's just under that 0.7 percent I was talking about, which is the average return uh, for a weekly covered call across the entire market. So let me go ahead and sell the 4850 call on the stock that's moved now. It's trading at 4808 for the next seven days. Remember, my risk was 5%, unlimited upside profit potential. Put in the call now. Max return of 0.3%. Whoa, whoa. Uh, that's wrong, isn't it? Risk can't go up if I sell a call. Actually, it can. Your risk goes up to the upside. If you force the trade too soon and at too incorrectly of a strike price, remember, you only got 34 cents against the 260 you were risking. The risk now is if the stock suddenly gaps up and on Monday is trading at 53, I'm at pretty much near 70% loss I would have had on the downside. The premium you collected reduced the risk this direction, but because it's done at the wrong strike price for too little of a premium, it increases the risk in the direction you thought the stock wanted to go. Investors say to me, well, Mike, isn't a married put trading against yourself? You're buying a bullish stock, but you also bought a bearish asset that's wasting in time. No, I bought a long-term insurance policy so I don't suffer that 10, 15, 20% loss. I might only suffer a 5% loss. I bought it out in time so it's a second working asset that as the stock moves up and down, I can manipulate because I'm not forcing myself into the rapid time decay of the, oh, sorry, last 30 days. Okay. Is this trading against myself? No, this is insuring an investment. Doing a married put, selling a... 17 cent, 30 cent weekly call against a married put structure that has a higher cost basis as a position as a whole, this is now trading against myself for very little comfort, very little reward, and increased risk in the direction I thought the stock was going to go. Okay? That's why you don't sell the call right away. That's why you don't force a weekly call in this structure because you can hurt yourself more. You wait for the right time following the rules in the blueprint. I do sell weekly calls occasionally, but not forcing it week by week by week to pay for the put option itself. Okay. Um, a quick example here. Uh, let's see here. Average cost basis is probably... I think I bought this at 480. Let me just show you something here real quick. And after doing other adjustments, I originally bought T-Rex at around 72. I think with my income methods, I've reduced this down to about $71 or so from the 76 I purchased it. But I'm holding a 65 put now. And if I, sorry. I just, I just want to show this real quick, okay? This doesn't offer weeklies, but, oh, that's too high. Okay, let's call it 380. That's better. No, it's not. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's not. That's too easy. Sorry, folks. Okay. Anyway, after multiple adjustments, even though I bought the stock at 76, it's down to 72. I've lowered the cost basis from 76 down to 71. I'm holding an October 65 put with about this risk in place. Okay. Now, 
if I sell the July 75 call, it's not a weekly, but it's close, you know, I sell this premium, I lower the cost basis, lower it, might have a 5% return, but the chance for our previous discussion for 10% isn't there. Why does this look better than what I just showed you? Because the proper structure, the call is above the cost basis and above the put strike price. You force that sell too soon just to try to generate premium, you're going to hurt yourself. There's a proper way to do these structures in an improper way. That's what's taught in the blueprint as well. So you'd want to wait for the stock to move up for, to achieve the goals of where you want the stock, excuse me, to achieve the goals of getting the right premium at the right strike price before you sell it against the married put and now are trading against yourself. Forcing that weekly call on the Intel position would be trading against myself not going into the married put structure. That's not trading against myself. That's ensuring an investment and skewing the market odds in my favor with a guaranteed low risk of only 5 or 6%. Now, in this case, it's higher, but that's because it's a continuing trade. I did it on purpose to take advantage of the decline in December and then the rebound going up since then. Okay, so James, that's the, that's the answer to your question. Make sure you're doing it properly because otherwise, selling a weekly call against a married put just to try to pay for the put you are now trading against yourself. I would have only opened that married put on Intel if I thought the stock was going to move up, similar to what Lance was thinking. My target is usually 3 to 6% in the first 30 to 45 days. That's when I open a married put position that I like. If I sell a call too soon or try to force a weekly call just to get 15, 20 cents, 30 cents against that far-term married put, now I'm trading against myself because I'm going counter to what I initially expected the stock was going to do and I'm cutting my profits short just for a measly 15 to 30 cent premium to try to do it even four weeks in a row. That's only 60 cents, 80 cents. Wait for the stock to move, get a better premium. The targets we look for, that's what's discussed in the blueprint for all 12 income methods, uh, not just selling a call. That blueprint discusses when we would use all of them and how to manipulate the put option as well. Other free education and free stuff, hey, we talked about that blog article. I sent everyone the link there, blog.powerop.com. The Balanced Approach for Portfolio Success is the title, but you can just do a search on the blog for Barbell, and it'll come up if you missed the link earlier. Uh, also, you can check out our webinars at any time. Just go to powerop.com slash webinars.asp. Some of the webinars are not available if you're not a current trial member or subscriber. That's just another reason to take a trial or subscribe. But you can hunt around on YouTube, our vast array of many, many videos over the years that are archived publicly and available on YouTube, uh, just under user power options as well. Let me see here. Let me just check to make sure. But if anyone thinks of any questions later on, send me an email at any time. Just send it to support at powerop.com. Or, of course, you can send it to support at radioactivetrading.com. You can also call us during... Market hours at 302-992-7971. And if you are a trial member subscriber, you can schedule one of those coaching sessions at any time. 